The News Channel has been working for Columbus all day to bring you this edition of News 4 Live at 5.30. We're forced inside tonight by the weather, but we're having fun inside our studios. We'll show you the workings of the new Who 53. Kathy Donahue was in for Clark tonight. We had originally planned to be live tonight at the Park of Roses with the Whetstone Horseshoe Club, but the weather has made us change our plans. So Kathy Donahue is in tonight for Clark Paul. He has the day off. And Kathy, where do you go to escape the rain? You go home with a book, <laughs> a big bowl of popcorn, and a great movie. <laughs> But no, we come to Master Control of Channel 4 because actually we're going to show you Master Control of WWHO. This scale, as you well know, is Master Control. And, and it's sort of home. Well, yeah, for, for, especially for many of these engineers who right. spend, you know, the 2 o'clock in the mornings here. There are so many buttons and such. I've always had an urge, although I would probably... Not something with the FCC, just to come up and, and hit all these buttons just once or twice. Yeah, there might be some union thing there, but it would well, be I fun if they let you just hit one there's button. There's one that like, can make us go to black. We wouldn't get in any trouble at all, would we? <laughs> no, this is my job. <laughs> okay, so I won't do it after all. So, what we thought we'd do is we're going to go head back to our uh, WWHO's master control. We're still kind of in the beginning stages of it, as you can well see when we walk in here, but we're going to introduce you to Sean Strom. And Sean is kind of a jack of all trades. He sure is. This guy, not only is he big and kind of <laughs> cuddly, he knows just about everything there is to know about Channel 4 and WWHO. So why don't you just tell us, welcome to your domain. What is this? Well, this is work in progress. Uh, this is WWHO's uh, master control. And uh, we still haven't gotten all of our equipment in yet. We hope to go on in um, about mid-July where we take full control and in this room, all the programming for Channel 53, uh, I'm sorry, WWHO will come out of here, uh, the commercials and uh, programming. So right now you can see Andy Griffith on here, and we have several machines here that will help us out. We're doing partial automation here. Uh, this is our beta cart system, and this is where the commercials will be running. And uh, I know a lot of people don't like commercials, but this is how we make our uh, bread and butter here at a station. <laughs> This is a, a particular commercial how it's stored, and this is a beta cart, and all the information is held in a barcode, which much like you see at a grocery store. And this tells what it is, uh, who did it. Uh, Lucinda Matheny did this one on the uh, 4th of 94. Hey, and yes, Gail? Well, people might not understand because they see Sean in a place that's not complete, and yet who right. is on the air, so. Right. Well, we're, we're, we're monitoring who from here. So. And actually, it's being run out of a, a double-wide trailer, so right to speak, in, in, in Chillicothe. Chillicothe. Right, so we're, we have a, a microwave path from here that goes all the way down to their transmitter. And uh, when we take full control, the transmitter will override their system down there and we'll send our programming down. But for right now, we're monitoring off air. So, so it sounds very confusing and very complicated, but bottom line is, this is where it's gonna eventually, the whole Channel 53 or WWHO is gonna be right here. Right, right, okay. everything is here. And as I say, we're back to our commercials. We have a barcode, we put them in the box here and uh, the machine grabs them, ingests them, and uh, we'll make it work here takes them in and it reads them and has a uh, barcode reader, takes the tape in, ingests it, and now knows everything that's in these slots. And then we come over here to the uh, data screen. This is a control panel for the machine. And I've uh, done a sample program here. And uh, this is what the operators will be seeing. So when they want to take a commercial break, they just hit play over here. And uh, the, the play will start. We have uh, one of our machines on it. Let me uh, go to the next one here. And uh, you know, it, it all seems to me, Gail, like such a different kind of world. But it's very simple once you get the hang of it. And you've been doing this also all your life, right, Sean? <laughs> yeah, we've been. Uh, this is a. Uh, Another tinker toy for us. It's just another big <laughs> wiring project. There's a lot of really neat stuff here uh, that who will uh, uh, get to uh, participate in. So, Sean. Yes. Yeah. Bottom line, how much overtime have you put in now, bud? Big time. <laughs> and also, Gail, to pat ourselves on the back, the only station where two stations are operated out of. That's right. Okay. So that sounds good. That is really uh, nationally. That's pretty uh, important. Yeah. Pretty impressive. Yeah. You're right. All right. Thanks, Kathy. You and bet. thanks, Sean. You're welcome. You cuddly guy. <laughs> <laughs> you're never gonna live that part down. <laughs> <laughs> Why? And something to cool you off when we come back.
here has forced us to come indoors after raining out our show at the Whetstone Horseshoe Club in Clintonville. We will reschedule that for later dates. Meanwhile, Kathy Donahue inside our station. Kathy, where are you now? Well, actually, I'm trying to see where we are. I'm looking in the rundown. Oh, toss to Kathy. Oh, how clever. This is this is what. <laughs> are you in my go. computer? Oh, you are. No, we're up at the front desk. This is kind of. Um, if you, if you could take a look out over the newsroom, this is where the people of power sit. And I'm sure our assignment manager, Stephen Dean, would agree with that immensely. But, you know, talking about the weather, for most of us sitting at home and you're watching TV, you just watch the storms come in and it rains and you might watch TV and you see the crawl. But when you're sitting in this seat and the storms come in, it's an entirely different story, isn't it, Stephen? Well, we hear it before we ever hear about it from, like, the weather radars or whatever. The weather room's over in another corner of the station and we hear it on all of our police and fire radios so uh, immediately when it starts to happen. Today we heard it hit Hilliard very hard and uh, we started keeping a log of all the things that were happening in Hilliard. We covered a fire a in Hilliard and uh, a couple of fires because of uh, lightning strikes and uh, we hear our police radio. It uh, just immediately lights up with all of the burglar alarms that are caused by lightning or thunder oh that gosh. shakes things. And uh, also I'm listening to something that not many people know about. It's uh, Weather Spotters Network. Ham radio uh, people all over the county, all over the central Ohio area are sitting in their cars and they are, have training from the National Weather Service and they watch for certain storms. They've been told how to spot certain clouds, how to spot certain uh, wow. you hmm. know, amounts of wind and whether it's a severe storm and they report in. And so we're listening so you, you know, firsthand accounts doing. out there all over. Oh my gosh. Well, it sounds like you've got your hands full. Thank you, yeah. Stephen. And of course, we'll come and get it from the expert. We're gonna head into the weather office to check with Jim Ganahl. Make sure he's not on the phone here. Hi. Hi. Phone. Are you, well, you've oh, been busy. God. You can't believe it. How many hours a week do you work when it gets this crazy. Well, we average about 12 hours a day and oh. we get about four dozen phone calls. Everybody wants their own individual forecast for their own yard. <laughs> we do that, we do that And somebody too, calls no. and says, my garden hose won't reach where my garden is. Is it going to rain on them? And I don't know if it's going to rain on your block or the next but block. But you really get those calls? Oh, he does. Every You're day. so polite. Oh my gosh, that's great. I was going to show you on satellite though, you can see the storms are just exploding off to the north and to the west of us. And these are coming into central Ohio now. And so I think in the next 24 hours, everybody's going to get some rain, whereas in the past week, uh, spots have been hit and others have been missed. But this time it looks better for rain everywhere, but then you got the problem with lightning and some other problems with heavy rain. Does it matter for our lawns and for those of us who are, um, don't know much about gardening, can just a little bit every now and then help, or do we really well, need to get out the sprinklers? If it, the time of the day is important. If it comes in the morning and the sun bakes in the afternoon, you evaporate two or three tenths of an inch a day. And so it, it's best, to, I think coming right now is pretty good. Okay. That'll help us. Great. Well, then I'll make sure that my hose reaches just that extra <laughs> bit farther to okay. get my impatience. <laughs> Thanks, Ask Jim. Ask Tom McNutt about the garden <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Thanks. Well, we're going we're gonna to go into the newsroom next time. Oh, Kathy, it's funny because every week Jim sort of can tell his story of the week of the crazy Weather call he's gotten. They're always fun to hear. And he's very good about it, <laughs> yes. too. All right, we'll see you then. Up and around our studios tonight because we can't be outside with a storm. So, Kathy, where are you now? I'm in the control room. And you know what's kind of weird? I used to be a producer, so this is where I used to sit, where Dale now sits. And I did a much better job, but nobody else would have to know that. I'm just <laughs> Who kidding. Trained you? Who trained you? I'm just kidding. I'm He's just kidding. He's the boss of the show. And of course, our illustrious Marilee, one of our most phenomenal directors we yes, have Yes, she here. is. But I must say that at Channel 4, we are kind of a progressive station. We have got so many female directors, and we want to give them kudos because they definitely deserve it. And, and they're very, very good. And they are I mean, very let's good. Not forget that part. Hey, I'm, I'm kind of getting into this live TV thing. Look how fast we're moving. We're walking down the Where hallway. Where are you going? Oh, we're just going to wander down the hallway oh, because hi. you never know who you might run into. <laughs> After you, Steve, can you fit? Uh, this is kind of fun. This is kind of bizarre to have two ways. Hi, Kat. Hi. I guess I don't need to mic you since this is the studio. We have new lights in here, by the way. I don't know if anybody at home can notice these, but we kind of like them. Well, the, the lights make you look better because now so? you have that soft halo behind your head, and <laughs> it looks really good. Basically, it took away our wrinkles. Wow, this is kind of <laughs> neat. And have we ever shown the teleprompters before? This I'm is not how sure if we have. This is how Gail. <laughs> this is how she doesn't mess up. <laughs> That's our show no, for this Monday. Up. This makes it a bit easier. And then it kind of it, it rolls up, and then you can see the next story. There Look you go. This. Is this cool? Sometimes That's it a, rolls, and then sometimes if they're not paying attention it upstairs, it doesn't roll. But and a little <laughs> technique that I, I like to show because I like to make fun of anchors. Um, right here on the table. You like to make fun of anchors? <laughs> oh, you wanna be? You want? Oh. <laughs> 
right here on the table, you can't really see it real well, but this is the picture of what you're seeing on TV. So when Gail is reading a story and you don't see her, she's right. looking down saying, okay. I'm referencing, now I see hoping that the story is there yeah. that I'm reading to. Right, right, exactly. And that's how the baseball guys do it, all the sports like guys. Like sit out here under these lights, Kath? This is kind of neat. <laughs> this is really kind of neat. But this has been fun. You know, when you're desperate, you do what you got to do. <laughs> and people every once in a while like to see what it looks like back here. Yeah. I don't know if I should look in this camera or I'll this I'll do it. <laughs> Which one? That's our show for, oh, sorry. <laughs> Anchor wannabe. That's kind of scary. Go for it. <laughs> Um, what do it's I do? Monday. That's our show for this Monday. That's our show for this Monday. Thanks for joining us. Now it's time tomorrow? for News 4 at 6. No, Clark will be back. Okay. Well, thanks. It's been You're fun. Welcome. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. <laughs> Stay tuned for News 4 at 6.